Hello folks, yearly upgrades are the norm in the smartphone market and Samsung has just unveiled the Galaxy S23 Trio at Unpark. But if you were to gloss over the exterior design of the new Galaxy S23 Ultra next to the 2022 Ultra model, you'd think that Samsung has repackaged the same smartphone and slapped a new name on the box, and in some cases you would be correct. Say for a few exceptions, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is a rather tame incremental upgrade and doesn't change too many things in terms of its exterior design. There are, however, some key upgrades in select hardware areas, and the phone ships with One UI 5.1 instead of 5.0. Here's a quick rundown of how the two flagship phones compare. The Galaxy S23 Ultra looks very much like the S22 Ultra, and you'd be hard-pressed to notice any differences between them at a glance. Instead of changing the design formula again, Samsung chose to refine it for 2023. And that may not be a bad thing given how good the S22 Ultra looks. The new flagship follows the same camera design principles as last year's model and has a modern, minimalist exterior. Nevertheless, the new phone has flatter surfaces all around, it offers a more comfortable grip and the less curved display works better for the S Pen. You still have sharp corners and a similar overall construction, but Samsung has upgraded the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus it used on the S22 Ultra to the more durable Victus 2, which improves the resistance of the glass if you drop the phone. You have a slightly thicker aluminum frame and then the power and volume buttons are slightly lower and ever so slightly bigger for comfort. Both phones get IP68 certification, meaning they have the highest water and dust rating available in a common flagship. And on the bottom you'll find a USB-C port on both, but no 3.5mm headphone jack. You get a large 6.8-inch screen on both phones and it has slightly wider dimensions than your typical smartphone, so you get even more screen real estate to work with. However, these are not the same display panels. The one big change is a switch to the latest and most advanced A6 OLED panel on the S23 Ultra, which has slightly better characteristics. Peak brightness, however, remains the same on both models at 1750 nits. Both use LTPO technology, which gives you the automatic refresh rate. Samsung calls it Dynamic AMOLED, so you get a 1440p resolution and 1 to 120Hz refresh rate on both. We don't have any significant changes in biometrics either. The two phones rely on Qualcomm's ultrasonic fingerprint scanner built inside the screen, and it has a reputation for being reliable and fast enough, even if not the fastest. The S Pen and Wacom digitizer also appear to be unchanged, with the input device boasting a 2.8 milliseconds latency, Bluetooth integration, and a gyro sensor. The most important hardware upgrade is arguably the new 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2 camera with 16 to 1 pixel binning, which promises better low-light photography and image stabilization, more advanced astrophotography and better 8K recording. The camera experience as a whole was improved for the 2023 model. The setup can capture more details and offers improved nighttime hyperlapse and HDR video recording for the selfie camera. And the telephoto cameras appear to be driven by more advanced AI, leading to higher details in zoomed-in shots. One other improvements you won't see on the spec sheet is faster shutter speeds. The S22 Ultra used to take a few extra moments for every shot, while the S23 Ultra is really snappy. Storage is now doubled as standard. The base Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with 256GB, and the phone uses faster UFS 4.0 instead of UFS 3.1. RAM is also upgraded with LPDDR5X. Another key upgrade over the 2022 model is the Qualcomm chipset. There is no more division between Exynos and Snapdragon Dragon markers this year. The Galaxy S23 Ultra comes only with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, and the chipset benefits from exclusive fine-tuning with higher GPU and CPU frequencies than factory specifications. From early benchmark results, we can see the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip delivers a massive improvement in speeds. The S23 Ultra gets a 40% faster single-core CPU performance and a whopping 50% in multi-core performance. We rarely get such massive improvements, so this really is a special chip. But the big gains actually come for gamers. GPU performance is now on par even faster than the current champ, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. In addition, the Steam Chamber cooling system has been more than doubled. This is a rather important and necessary upgrade for more stable system operation. The Galaxy S23 Ultra also brings a welcome improvement with audio quality. While on the outside the speakers look the same, they get much juicier now with more volume. But it's not just about the volume and loudness. 
The S23 Ultra is much cleaner, voices come through nice and clear with far less compression and even at max volume there is not much distortion. And most importantly, you can actually hear those lows for much richer sound profile. Both the new S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra have the same 5000 mAh battery inside. Samsung estimates the S23 Ultra will last up to 27 hours of video playback, 30% longer than the S22 Ultra. And for audio playback time, Samsung estimates the S23 Ultra to last 99 hours, 22% longer than the previous version. These are some solid numbers and they seem to come largely from the more efficient Snapdragon chip. Still, don't expect two full days of the charger on either one of these phones. Both still require overnight charging, but the S23 Ultra is better. Unfortunately, we don't have any such changes on the charging front. True to industry trends, there is no charger included in the box with either phone. Wired charging speeds max out at 45 watts on both the S23 and S22 Ultra. Remember that to reach those speeds, you would need not only a fast charger, but also a special 5A cable, Samsung sells both of those. And this whole package cost an additional $50. Even with those speeds, however, the phones take more than an hour for a full charge. They also both support wireless charging that goes up to 10 watts in terms of speeds. The Galaxy S23 Ultra brings early access to new One UI features. One UI 5.1 also brings numerous upgrades to the user experience, even though it shouldn't take long for most if not all of these improvements to come to the Galaxy S22 Ultra through a future firmware upgrade. With One UI 5.1, the camera got some upgrades and with access to Expert Raw, the Gallery app introduces a new family album feature and better search. A couple of new widgets have been added. Modes and scenarios support different wallpapers depending on the mode. And Samsung DeX got improved split screen and corner window snapping. The list goes on, with Samsung adding a new collaboration mode for Samsung Notes, media output for Wi-Fi speakers, the ability to use a Galaxy Books mouse, keyboard or trackpad with your smartphone and many more. At the end of the day, the Galaxy S23 Ultra improves the fundamentals but doesn't bring any startling changes to the Ultra series. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is a relatively tame, incremental upgrade rather than a huge technological leap from the 2022 model. Although the Galaxy S23 Ultra may be underwhelming for smartphone fans who want to see huge leaps in technology every year, it may also be one of the most consumer-friendly upgrades yet because it doesn't go overboard. Especially when you look at the design, it is the design that makes you think that nothing has changed in the smartphone. Of course, the S23 Ultra is primarily a smartphone for those who have the S21 series and older models, cause well, who buys a smartphone every year? Whether this is a good thing or not, Galaxy S22 Ultra users won't lose much by sticking to the 2022 model and skipping the S23 Ultra this year, while avid yearly flagship bears who want the best of the best and upgrade to the S23 will benefit from a better camera experience and improved Snapdragon chip faster storage and RAM and early access to One UI 5.1 features. The Galaxy S23 Ultra starts at $1,200, same as the S22 Ultra last year. But let us know what you think about the new Galaxy S23 Ultra, are you excited about the upgrades and is there a particular new feature you want to see Samsung improve in the future? Thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, see you in the next one, good luck to all!